Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs and today I'm going to cover question 13 in our series regarding statistics. Let's begin. Sample 150 new cell phones produced by Yeskia found that 12 had cosmetic flaws. A 90% confidence interval for the proportion of all new Yeskia phones with cosmetic flaws is 0.044 or 4.4% to 0.116, 11.6%. Which statement below provides the correct interpretation of this confidence interval? So this question is going to and is asking us uh, what is a confidence interval. So it's asking us to interpret this information. So let's go through all of these answers and try to figure out what is the confidence interval, what is the best answer. So there is a 90% chance that the proportion of new phones that have cosmetic flaws is between 0 0.044 and 0 0.116. So we have 90% confidence that the proportion of all Yeskia phones with cosmetics flaws is 0 0.044 and 0 0.116. Uh, that isn't a 90% chance, it's our 90% confidence, which would be our uh, normal distribution and how confident we are that it is between this number. So it isn't a chance, this is a good answer, but it's not going to be the best here. Uh, so pay attention to the difference between this and the correct answer later uh, so you can really get what a confidence interval is. B, there's at least a 4.4% chance that a new phone will have a cosmetic flaw. This is not true. They're trying to trick you. They are trying to trick you because you have the 44.4% 4 here. Uh, but this isn't the lowest. We have a 90% confidence that it's within this range, but it could be less or it could be greater than this range. So this is trying to throw you off. It is not the right answer because it could be less than 4.4%. C. A sample of 150 phones will have no more than 11.6% with cosmetic flaws. Again, we have a 90% confidence. So, uh, unfortunately, this will not be the right answer either because it could be greater than this uh, because of our 90% confidence interval. So D is if you selected a very large number of samples and constructed a confidence interval for each, 90% of these intervals would include the proportion of all new phones with cosmetic flaws. This is the best answer for the confidence interval. Uh, this is really the definition of what a confidence interval is. Um, it's if you select a large number of samples and construct a confidence interval, a 90%, at a 90% confidence, 90% uh, of these intervals would include the proportion of all new phones with cosmetic flaws. So the problem with A is that um, we're talking the proportion of new phones. We're not talking about this, these 150 phones. So I want you to get that's the major problem with A. And then the other issue with this question is it's asking what is the correct interpretation of this confidence interval. And again, that would be D. Uh, so if you select a large number of samples, your confidence interval uh, be it 90% in this one, would include the proportion of all new phones with cosmetic flaws. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions or if you would like me to answer anything at all, feel free to write in the comments below or on my Twitter. Please subscribe to this channel if you like this content so I can make more uh, YouTube videos for you. I also do videos regarding lowering college debt, my experiences uh, as a, uh, an aspiring CPA and an accounting student and a whole variety of subjects. So if you want me to make a video on anything, I'd be happy to do it. Just subscribe to my channel and write me and I'll make you a video. Uh, have a great day and thank you for watching.